Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. Uh, this is Microsoft Worldwide Telescope, brand new software from Microsoft. Uh, some of you may immediately see this and say, oh, well, Google Earth and the Sky feature already does the same thing. And eh, not quite. Not not as good as this, actually. If uh, the, the best example of this is probably in the guided tours. And uh, I just have to wait for that to load up. And if I do galaxies here, let's see here. We'll do Galaxy M81. Now when you click on it, it initially downloads the uh, the tour. And it'll just take a moment here. The download is actually pretty quick. You don't have to wait too long. This is about maybe uh, 20 or 30 seconds or something like that. And when it's a tour, it's not just, well, you, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. The magnificent dusty star studded arms of the nearby spiral galaxy M81 are illuminated in this image from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. Located in the northern constellation of Ursa Major, this galaxy is easily visible through binoculars or a small telescope. At 12 million light years away, M81 is one of the closest spiral galaxies to our Milky Way galaxy. Because it is so close compared to most other galaxies, M81 gives astronomers an opportunity to study the properties of a spiral galaxy in great detail. Using data from highly sensitive infrared instruments, this Spitzer image shows us old stars, interstellar dust heated by newly formed stars, and embedded sites of star formation within the galaxy. A detailed study of infrared images of M81 have allowed astronomers also to measure the galaxy's overall dust content, as well as the rate at which new stars are being formed. The bluish-white central bulge of the galaxy contains older stars and only a little dust. Winding outward from the bulges are the ground. Okay, I'm going to stop that tour right there. Now, I remember as a kid going to the Boston Museum of Science and seeing stuff like this in very elaborate presentations where it cost the, uh, the museum a lot of money to do this, and now this is all free in a software like this, which is absolutely nothing short of incredible. And uh, there are many guided tours in um, this uh, Worldwide Telescope software. It's just, it, it's it's amazing, you know, it's, it almost leaves me speechless about how good this is. And obviously the software is not just guided tours. If I go to, uh, let's see here, go to named uh, stars, and I just... I'll just go, oops, went a little too far there. And I'll just pick one in particular. Uh, I'll go to this one. We'll zoom out. It will go find it. And it will zoom in on it. And there's that star. Right there. And uh, there's also Hubble images in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, e pretty easy to get to. Uh, if I do, do Messier 42, again, it'll zoom out. And you can adjust these settings, by the way, how fast it tracks. And you can also manually move around like you can in um, the uh, sky feature in Google Earth. It's just neat. Uh, for kids, this would be fantastic. This is fantastic stuff. It really is. Uh, let me go back here. If I do just regular just constellations like the Aries constellation, uh, I click that, it'll zoom out. I don't know if you can see this in the video. I'm hoping you can see those lines. And uh, right here, let me just zoom back a little bit. There is Aries. And of course, this over here, there's the sun. And if I double click, it goes right to the sun in the Aries constellation. So uh, this video cannot even touch the the coolness that this software is. You have to actually download and explore this for yourself. Uh, if you want to go ahead and get it, the website, hold on, uh, yes, uh, worldwidetelescope.org. It'll take a second for the website to load. The site's getting hammered right now because it's just a, uh, <laughs> a lot of people are downloading this. 
trying to get to it anyway. Oop, yeah, see, it was reset. A lot of people, there we go. This is the website for Worldwide Telescope. Pretty nice website too, by the way. The, uh, the download link is right at the top right here, or it's uh, you can go to experience it. And if you go to download, you can go ahead and get it yourself if you want to. Um, Bear in mind that you may need some .NET libraries, which you can get from Windows Update. So if you need to, go to windowsupdate.microsoft.com and download that. I already had all that stuff in, uh, installed, so I didn't really need to worry about it. So I was all set. For those that would immediately say this is a ripoff of Google Earth, no, sir. Uh, don't say that until you experience this software. I'm going to tell you that right up front. It is not a fair comparison to say this is just a copy of Google Earth, the sky feature. It is not. There is much, much more to this. Um, I unfortunately cannot, due to time limitations, I can't show that in this video. So uh, go ahead and try it for yourself. Ordinarily, I don't tell people to download beta products, but this one is definitely worth it. It is absolutely incredible stuff that I'm talking about here. Uh, good for you. If you have kids, good for kids. Good for everybody. Check it out. Take it easy.